You're watching the LVSHL Phantoms Cup Final on Nick's Hockey Broadcast. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the PPL Center, where tonight we will watch the LVSHL Phantoms Cup Youth Final between the Parkland Trojans and the Northampton Concrete Kids. The youth division in the LVSHL comprises of players from 3rd through 5th grade. Definitely the youngest players I have ever seen in my two-year career. Time for tonight's starting goaltenders. In net for the Parkland Trojans is the rule one. Graham Bundage. He is 4-2-1. Goals against average 7.61. Save percentage of .829. In net for the Northampton Concrete Kids is number 43, Grayson Dolan. Undefeated record 8-0. Goals against average 3.63. Save percentage of .752. As we're underway, it's the Trojans and the Concrete Kids in the youth LVSHL Phantoms Cup Final. As Northampton's going to try to get this one right back out. Falling down on the ice there was McGinley. We're in the Hunter Jacoby 23. As Powell's trying to touch this puck as the Trojans will rush back the other way on the right wing in their own zone. This is Pyle with a wrist shot that goes wide to the blocker side of the goaltender. Pyle wearing the Travis Konechny number 11 for Northampton. All four Northampton teams in all four divisions in youth Middle school, JV, and varsity have made the finals this year. Hits it back, and so they score! Less than one minute in, and the Concrete Kids take an early 1-0 lead. I was just talking about Empio gets on the board, and it's 1-0 Northampton. Logan Empio gets his 19th goal of the season. He has the most goals on the team. Coming into this game, as the Concrete Kids get a 1-0 lead. Parkland's going to try to get some semblance of a response here. Plenty of time in this one. These periods are about 11 minutes each. They are shorter than the JV and varsity periods, in which those are about 17 minutes each. As the Concrete Kids dump it back past the red line. Sawyer Reptes will get this past the line. He'll get back and pass the wing. Side and then that shot goes wide. Northampton gained some good chances. That was Byron on the right side. Here's a shot and that towards the goal. And they score! Nathaniel Byron makes it 2 nothing. As the Concrete Kids have a 2 nothing lead. Two shots and two goals. Parkwood has no shots on that just yet. But the Concrete Kids, a hot start in this championship game. That's his 17th goal of the season. So Byron and Pyle ha ha had one and two for the first and second most goals on the Concrete Kids roster as they get the first two of this game. Cleared back past the line. As Parkwin's going to try to get this right back behind, behind their own net here. Brooke Bungeon was right there, the brother of the goaltender. Graham in net for Parkland. This pass comes in front. Backhand shot goes wide. These two teams actually met in the championship game last year. This is a rematch where Parkland defeated Northampton 9-6. He's a wraparound trying to save. It's made there on the right pad side there. Our Brundage as Parkland's going to try to get this pass center ice. Cleared back into the zone here by Blake Jacoby. This goes past the defense here all the way down. No icing here. Nine and a half to go in the first. Two nothing Northampton. Parkland's going to take this back through center. Player goes down for Northampton as we're going to get an offsides here with 9-14 to go in the first period. So here are the team records going into this game. Northampton, 11 wins, 2 losses, no ties. Parkland, 9 wins, 2 losses, 2 ties. And in the semifinal games for both of these teams, Northampton defeated Nazareth 9-3. Parkland won 5-4 versus Emmaus, and they actually took a 5-4 lead with a little more than one minute to go in the third period. And in the regular season, Northampton defeated Parkland 7-5 and 8-3. And Parkland defeated Northampton in their last matchup, 
seven to six. Off this tie, the Trojans will take it back defensively here on the point. It's bounced off the glass. As now Northampton's going to try to get this back right behind their goal. Jacoby hits it off the boards, uh, nearly off the glass. Kept there on the line as Parkland retrieves back. Both teams trying to get some semblance of possession here. Forehanded off the boards as Parkland's going to get it back into the zone. As Northampton's going to clear it all the way down towards the Parkland end of the ice, and this will be an icing here called against Northampton. Want to give a quick shout out to the Seibert family watching from all the way in Alabama. As they're watching number two, Chase Seibert for the Northampton Cockery Kids, I'll let you know when I see Chase on the ice. And off this faceoff, won by the Concrete Kids. Perrell is the one to win it for Northampton, wearing number five in orange and black. He twirls around here, he gets the puck at center, and it's taken back to by Jacoby, wearing the Oscar Limblom, number 23, as he's going towards the net. Save is made there. Big stop there by Graham Brundage, wearing the Bernie Perrot number one. It has the right handed glove, like former Flyers goaltender Steve Mason used to do. As Parkland turns it back over, here's a slap shot that was blocked down by a stick in front. Shellhammer was the one that was trying to release that shot on net there for the Concrete Kids. Shellhammer takes it on the left side here, off the boards, trying to make the pass towards the left wing. As now this puck is still stuck behind the back part of the goal, Parkland still has no shots on net in the first period. Ryan got it across Jacoby with a shot that goes wide off the boards behind the net. Northampton continuing his offense as he's stuck under a, between the legs of a Parkland defenseman. Couldn't pan out who that was as now Byron takes it right back. Jacoby on the right side. Moving on in. Jacoby with a wrist shot towards the net. It went off the stick there. Uh, Parrell as Parrell couldn't take the shot. Jacoby again. His shot was blocked there. Vincent Pia was the one to make the two-way play there for Parkland. As now the Trojans are finally able to get out of the zone. Jacoby's going to circle him back through center. Off the bench there for Parkland. As Mesa, as meanwhile, here comes a chance for Byron. The shot scores! Nice shot, top bar and in. Byron as... Byron gets tackled down by Jacoby after the goal. 3-0 Northampton. Nathaniel Byron's second goal of the game, 18th of the season. Three goals and six shots for the Concrete Kids. Great start for Northampton. As now Pyle. He's got Byron on the left wing. Got it to him. Byron with a shot. He scores! Byron's got the hat trick in the first period alone, and it's 4 nothing now. As Northampton is continuing this relentless offense, they're going to move it right back into the zone. Piles winning in front of the cage, and that shot is gloved down there with 6.30 to go in the first. Off this tie up, Parkland's gonna try to get this to center and they will, if they can hurry with some numbers here. they bring it into the right wing for a shot. Save me there, the first save of the night there for Dolan. Finally getting some action here as Parkland officially gets their first shot on goal. This is going to be backhanded back towards center ice as the Trojans will have to chase it down. Brundage will lose his puck and goes off the side of the cage. Brooke Brundage is going to try to forehand this puck in front. Cybert touches it. Cybert's now on the ice wearing number two. He's in front of the goal right now. This puck comes loose towards the right side. Jacoby's back on the ice now. 
on the corner. Set one in front there for a shot there by Seibert as he's going to be denied there by the goaltender for Parkland and Graham Bundage as both teams are going to get a line change. Five and a half to go in the first. Four nothing Concrete Kids. This puck comes towards the point. For a shot from the circle, saving there by Brundage as the Trojans will attempt to get this one out of their zone. They're going to move it back towards center ice. They have a three on three if they can hurry as they bring it to the Northampton end. And this will be an offsides here against Parkland. Jake Shellhammer wins the space off here for the Concrete Kids. Back towards the corner there was O'Reilly. O'Reilly has 14 goals, one assist for 15 points. This year with the Trojans, one of the best players on the team, as now Parkland's going to take this back defensively. Going to move it back on the left wing into the North Hampton end as they're down by four. This goes back to the side there. Rouch lost his puck. As the Trojans will try to keep it inside the zone, but this puck goes past the blue line. Tipped back towards center ice as the Trojans bring it back into the zone. It's brought back on the left side there. Bennett Dieter will chase for it on the right corner. It's brought back there by O'Reilly. O'Reilly on the side of the cage. Backhand shot. Same in there by Dolan. Here's another chance. Wrist shot. Same by Dolan. Scores! Daniel Rouch with the wrist shot from the point, and Parkland gets on the board. That's his fourth on the year, and much needed for the red and black as they are now down by three. It's four to one, Northampton. And off the space of, this is gonna be taken there for a shot there near the net of Dolan, as now Jacoby's gonna pass it in front of him. Flipping it back towards center ice was Williamson, as now back comes Pyle. He's gonna break, Pyle going right in, scores! Quick response from Pyle, five to one, kids. That's his second of the game. His 20th of the season. What a high scoring first period. Pyle's trying to get this puck right after the face up, couldn't come up with it. Jacoby on the right side, trying to bring this puck past the line here. As now the Trojans will try to get this one. Pyle's trying to steal this one away as this goes past Shellhammer. All the way down. As Jacoby's going to try to get this one back to center ice here. Passing it right in front of him. And now it's Pyle who's been putting on a show. Nice move back and pass it in front for a shot that goes wide. Powell was on the left side of the net there. Almost had a goal there for Northampton. Powell's going to pass it in front. Tipped off a of Parkland. Stick it back towards the corner. This is Pyle once again. Trying to deke around a few Trojans. Goes down. Not sure if he still has the puck based on where we are because the boards are in front of our view here. Pyle trying to get this one free as well as Williamson. It's still stuck there on the boards. Play continuing on here. It finally comes free. Parkland takes possession. As they're going to try to bring it past center ice here. 2.40 and counting to go in the first. 5 to 1, Northampton. Pass coming towards the winter. Kobe broke it up. As now we have an offside here against Parkland that stops the clock. 2.35 to go in the first. Now this face off at the offside dot. Off this tie up, one there by Northampton. This is Pyle. Pyle coming over the line of the left wing, looking for some passing options to get around a few defenders. Pyle took a shot from the side of the cage, and that goes wide. This is backhanded back towards the right side. They are two 23s for Northampton, Jacoby and McGinley, so you might see that number quite often. Ryan's going to take it on the right side, passing it across there towards the high slot for a shot. Scores! What a shot from long range! 
Sawyer Repez from out, and it's six to one, Concrete Kids. That's Sawyer's seventh of the season. Craig won the faceoff here for the Concrete Kids. Repez, the recent goal scorer, nearly lost this puck. Ryan will hit it off the boards. And it comes back to the Parkland Blue Liners. But Zach will have it on the right side, clearing it past the line, so this will be no icing here against the Trojans. McGinley, try to get it past the defender there. That was Farrell. As now Northampton moves on back. McGinley's pass. Byron on the right side. Ryan got one in front. It went off the stick there in front. He tried to pass it right there to Craig. As Parkwoods moves back on a two, on one on two, if they can hurry, bringing it right towards that, falling down there into the net and the goaltender as play is going to be blown dead. That was Reed Mesa, who has 15 goals, four assists for 19 points, the most points on the Trojans team right now. And as I say that, we have a hooking penalty, I believe, just called here. And we do. A power play coming up for Parkland. After Mesa was tripped there. It's on Soy Repez, the recent goal scorer. And the power play to the Parkland Trojans. Much needed as they're down by five. So Hafton clears right off this face off all the way down. Last minute to play in the first period as we'll get an and icing here must be a rule in the youth league uh, having an icing on the penalty kill here for Northampton. Because usually most power plays when the opposing team clears it all the way down. It would not be icing. I guess that's the case. Sorry if I didn't know that. This is my first game doing in youth in the LVSHL. This is the... First of a doubleheader for Knicks Hockey Broadcast. I'm also going to be covering the middle school championship game immediately after this between the Northampton Concrete Kids and the Nazareth Blue Eagles. And I'll be doing game three of the varsity series tomorrow night between the Levi Saints and the Northampton Concrete Kids. 43 seconds and counting to go in this period. Perel is trying to get this puck out of the zone. Backhand pass. Good play to give it there for Williamson. Kenzie of Williamson's going to kill some time here. 30 seconds left. Williamson's trying to get possession of this puck, but couldn't come up with it. Shellhammer with the Cindy Crosby 87 loses this puck. 2-1-2 two two developing for Parkwood. Pass across there for a shot score! No, it stays out. I thought it went in. It went off the post. It even fooled me. The official waved no goal immediately after it, it rang off the iron. So it stays out. Colin O'Reilly was the one who got the chance for Parkland. Time's going to wind down, and it is 6-1 to one, Northampton after one. Shots on net 14-4 in favor of Northampton. We'll be back for the second. Second period's about to get underway. It's 6-1 to one, Northampton. Shots on net 14-4 in favor of the Concrete Kids. The Trojans are still on a power play for 20 seconds. Wanted to correct something I said earlier about these being 11-minute periods. They're actually 12-minute periods. As now Parkland's going to clear it on in. McGinley trying to pass this in front. From Ethan Balls, we're in the 45. Nearly takes his puck here. Balls couldn't hold on to it. Trojans move back on a two on three. If they can hurry, they bring it past the line. An onside play there on the wing for a shot. And it goes off the pad there of Dolan. Parkland's going to have to retrieve this puck on back towards their own zone. That was Kinley Mance who hold on for a second. Meanwhile, here comes Northampton in towards the goal there. Falling down in front of the net there was Blake Snyder with the Wayne Simmons 17. Seibert's there in the corner. This puck comes free and back behind the net. Stuck behind the goal there. Comes in front of the blue paint there as the Trojans will come back the other way. This is on the left side near the Parkland and Northampton benches. Snyder nearly got this puck back here. 
as this bouncing knuckle puck goes past the blue line. Balls is going to wait as he'll shoot it into the zone. Line change for the Concrete Kids now. As Parkland's going to have this on the right side, bringing it past the line here for the Trojans. As they're going to hold on for the angle. That shot goes off the block of there. Dolan, nice stop there for the Northampton goaltender. So far, he has stopped five of six shots. As now the Concrete Kids clear it back down. Trojans now get a line change. Off the boards towards the point. Shellhammer controlling, passing it in front as Parkland will move on back if they can. They're going to hold on the left wing. It's a three on two developing if they can hurry as Jacoby makes a big check off the boards there to break up that play. Jacoby's going to move back. Jacoby has space here if he can move into the zone, and he will. Jacoby, nice move, beats the defender, going in, scores! Fantastic goal, Jacoby, it's 7-1. to one. Blake Jacoby, his 13th of the season. He made a nice move on the defenseman, on the blocker side of the goaltender, and then for Parkland and Graham Bundage. As Northampton continues to come right along in this championship game. 9 13 in county to go in the second, 7 to 1. Concrete Kids. His pass is intercepted there by Rapez with the Paul Coffee 77. That's the number Coffee wore when he was with the Flyers for a time, if you didn't know. As this puck is back on the corner, Shell, Jake Shellhammer passes it back towards the point there. And for a shot there by McGinley was blocked on route. Parkwin finds the puck. As they're going to come back the other way, trailing by six. Into the Northampton zone, past the line here, drop pass in front. As this goes back to the corner, Rapez... On defense now trying to hit it off the boards. Backhands one as it goes past the blue line towards center. Pass is intercepted there. Picked up there the Jake Shellhammer. But Jake couldn't hold on to it. He's got the green tape on his stick. Rapaz will try to clear it on down. Now icing here. Again, he's going to have to go over this puck all the way down. Dolan comes way out of his net and never retrieves back to it. And this will be an icing against Parkland. So tomorrow night, as I was mentioning, I'll be broadcasting game three of the best of three series in the varsity playoffs between the Lehigh Valley Saints and Northampton Concrete Kids. It's been a great season, once again, in the LVSHL for all divisions, but that game three tomorrow is going to be something special, at least for one of those teams. As Parkland's going to move back the other way on a one-on-five, believe it or not, this is bringing over the line there, was Mesa. Shellhammer hits it off the boards and he gets it past the blue line. Ballard's trying to chase with this puck on the corner. Couldn't get to it. Rouch falls down as he tries to make a long-range pass and went off of Jacoby. And now Jacoby's going to take this puck on the corner. Jacoby's pass coming back on the wing as, Parkwood, as Northampton's going to move it back into the zone. Ryan trying to pass it in front was blocked down by the stick there. A mess of collisions made on the boards there. It's a shot that goes wide of the net there. Our bondage in net for Parkland. Shellhammer's pass picked off there by the Trojans as they're going to move it back towards center. Mesa on the left wing now will deposit it back towards the corner as the puck goes behind the net. Powell's trying to forecheck this out of the zone here. Backhanded in back at play there by Craig Hick. As the Trojans are going to go back on yet another counterattack. Moving back on the wing there for a shot. Scores! Reed misses. 16th goal of the season, and Parkland has some life. 
It's now 7-2, Northampton. 6.44 to go in the second period. And off this tie up, Pyle makes a nice move. Pyle on the right side, backhand shot goes off the goaltender there as we'll get a whistle with 6.37 to go in the second period. And off this face off here, one there by the Concrete Kids winning that face off was Craig. And it's kept there by Rapez. Got Craig at center waiting for the puck. Took a shot from the side of the cage, was blocked. Pyle with a shot, scores! Pyle's got the hat trick. And another quick response for the Concrete Kids. That's their, as they get a six goal lead, it is eight to two. Logan Pyle gets his 21st goal on the year now. No hats thrown on the ice as the game continues on. Schneider, his pass coming right behind himself to Shellhammer. Shellhammer on the left side, get one in front, went past the two legs there of Craig. Schneider has it back on the wing, gets it back towards the point. Jacoby, Shellhammer with a blast, but he misses the target. Now Parkland's going to bring it back towards center ice. As they're going to develop a two-on-one if they can hurry. Here's the pass on the wing for a shot. Saved by Dolan. His biggest of the night so far as he gets an applause from the crowd. Parkland continuing the offense here. They'll have it back on the right wing. Another shot's blocked. It went off of Shellhammer's shin. Comes in front there as Parkland almost got a Prime opportunity there in front of the goal. Here's a shot blocked down by the stick there, Shellhammer. Fanned on the clearing attempt. Puck comes on back and Shellhammer brings it on the wing. They lose possession of this puck as it comes back towards the corner. Cybert on the wing towards Jacoby. Nearly stolen away. Shellhammer slams his puck but kept it into the zone. And now it's brought back the other way there. From Balls, it comes back there for Jacoby. Glove save made there by Graham Frundage. As we're going to get some line changes here for both teams. A tad less than five minutes to go in the second. Eight to two, Northampton. Want to give a shout out to Alexander Pyle watching from Arizona. Wow, quite the distance from here. The Cyborg family is watching. This game right now all the way from Alabama. As ne meanwhile, Parkman goes right to the backhand shot. Off the post. It stays out. Emery Buzak was the one to get the chance on that for Parkman on that breakaway attempt for the Trojans as they're still down by six. So back to, the, so back to what I was saying from the live stream, Alexander Pyle, Arizona... It's quite the distance I've heard for a lot of places and people watching my games over the last two years. I've had people in South Carolina, Connecticut, Michigan, Canada, and Mexico before. Arizona is definitely a new one, and so is Alabama today. As we're past one time blast, and it goes off the pads there of the goaltender Brundage as he's going to hold on. Jake Shellhammer with the Bill Barber number seven. Gets his face off. Apologies for the little voice crack there. Jacoby will make a check there on the boards here as play continues on. We'll have this face off now move to the offside dot here. Shellhammer will go for the face off once again for the Concrete Kids. And after this time, it's won cleanly by Parkland. Pyle was the one to, Vincent Pyle to, Vincent Pyle is the one to win it for Parkland on that draw there. As now this is brought back the other way by Jacoby on a two-on-two. -two. Jacoby with Shellhammer right behind. Save me there. Brundage with the left pad stop. Shellhammer on the right part of the boards there near the Zamboni doors. As Parkland's going to try to get this out. Three and a half to go in the period. Still eight to two concrete kids. Shellhammer couldn't get to this puck here as these Trojans bring it back. Vincent Pyle. With the Shane Gosses bear 53 over the line with the shot goes right behind the net. 
Shellhammer hits it off the boards. Both Shellhammers are on the ice right now. Number 87, Zach Shellhammer. And number 7, Jake Shellhammer. This is back towards center ice into the Northampton zone. Rouch going right on in. Rouch with a shot. And it went off the crossbar, I believe, as he tried to go high side of the goaltender, Dolan. Two and a half to go in the second period now. Rouch has had a few good chances in this game and comes past the line again as this shot goes wide and over the net. He has one of two goals for Parkland today so far. As Jacoby defensively will get it back out for the kids. He'll hit it off the boards, gets collided off his back as he ran to Mesa. We have some collisions going on at center ice. As meanwhile, Parkland's going to go on a breakaway. In on that! Scores! Reed Mesa gets his second of the game. And it's 8-3. to three. That's his 17th of the season. Parkland has now scored three goals on 12 shots. 2-0-2 remaining in the second period. Jacoby's going to get this puck behind his goal of Dolan. He's going to retreat on out past his own zone. He'll back him one back towards center ice, and it's Powell who had it for a brief moment. We have a check made at center rice. That was on Kenzie Williamson. As McGimley will pass it in front. It's intercepted there by the Trojans. Brought back the other way. Here's Mesa, who has two goals tonight. Turns up back on the corner. Powell has it back on the right wing there for Northampton. As the Trojans bring it back nearly, we have a, a player that goes down for Northampton. That was Williamson, who got checked from behind. Lobbed past center ice and all the way down. Icing called here against Parkland. 106 to go in the second period. This is Craig on the faceoff here for Northampton. Going to come up with it. Parkland will move it back into the zone. Last minute to play in the second period. It's been pretty much all but Northampton in front. Back hits a CB by Dolan as the puck made a weird bounce in front of the blue paint. It's been mostly Northampton is in this game from what I've said. Parkland's had a few goals in it as they're trailing by five. As now Ryan's going to try to get this puck out. Ari has the hat trick in this game. As this puck is circled back into the Parkland zone. Shellhammer will pass it to Jacoby. 20 seconds to go in the period. Chip back in front. Ryan got a piece of it too. Parkland trying to get one last chance to end the period if they can. Comes back to the high spot. For a shot on that, the deflex towards the glove and into the catching mitten there of Dolan. 7.8 seconds remain in the second period. Parkland will get a slight line change here. Just slight. O'Reilly for this faceoff here for Parkland. Couldn't come up with the puck. Shellhammer hits it off the boards. It circles back around. And it is 8-3 Northampton after two shots on net. 20-16 in favor of the Concrete Kids. We'll be back for the third and final period of regulation time. Third period is about to get underway. It's 8-3 to three, Northampton. Shots on net 20-16 to 16 in favor of Northampton. Lost support from the crowd. Shannon Go Park within these last few minutes. As the youth championship title of the LVSHL Phantoms Cup is on the line for both teams. Parkland trying to defend their title. Northampton trying to claim one of their own tonight. Seibert briefly touches the puck on the blue line here. Touches it again around Schneider. Comes on free. McGinley is going to move back the other way for the Concrete Kids. Has it on the left wing. Off the boards to clear it into the corner here. And now it's taken back there by Rouch. Off the boards himself. It's McGinley. His shot's blocked there. It may have went off of Seibert. 
potentially, as it comes back to the side there for Rapaz, and that shot was blocked down. Rauch has it on the left wing, has some good offensive capabilities as we've seen in this game. Comes over the line, makes a nice move between his legs. Backhand pass in front, no one there for Parkway to take possession. Going to be kept onside as this will be an offside call here against Parkland. If you didn't catch it earlier, I am doing another game tonight. It'll be the middle school LVSHL Phantoms Cup final between the Northampton Concrete Kids and the Nazareth Blue Eagles. The game will start around 7.20 or 7.30, around one of those times. Stay tuned for that if interested. And now this face-off, Shellhammer hits it off the boards. Parkland's going to clear it back into the corner here. This goes off the glass. Jake Shellhammer will hit it off towards the corner. He'll chase after it there, too. Lost possession. Williamson takes it on the corner. Got one in front, but nobody there for Northampton to take a shot. This is Jacoby, who was unable to keep it onside. And I'll stop play with 10.27 to go in the third period. Off this face off, Parkman's going to hit it nearly off the glass here. They couldn't get it out of play. Pyle got a piece of that. That was Vincent Pyle, at least, for Parkland. Cleared down behind the goal. Jacoby on the turnover takes it on the point with a wrist shot that was deflected off of Parkland sticking down. Almost seemed like a high stick. It was not. Brian, who already has two goals, takes it on the wing. Passes it on tip towards the goal and went wide. Made one off of Williamson along its path. Shellhammer waits with a one-time blast, and that deflects off a of Parkman Trojan and now cleared back towards the corner. Ryan will now get in front as the Trojans are having a lot of trouble getting this puck out of their own zone. And now it's Williamson on the circle here. Took a shot towards the net. It bounces, deflected towards the crease there. And Brundage has got it. 9.30 to go in the third. 8-3 to three Northampton. This puck is dropped as Parkland's going to have this clearing attempt blocked there by Powell. As the Trojans move back on the counter, check out a two on two, and then they have a two on one to take in hurry over the line on the wing for a shot that went off the post. The Trojans think it is in. No official signal. Dolan is in the net, and it stays out. Or did it? It may have went in a much. I did not see an official signal waiting for confirmation. I believe we might have a good goal here. They have not updated the scoreboard. And it is a it's a good goal for Parkland. And I see I did not see the puck go in as now apparently it is eight to four. So Parkland gets a goal past the goaltender Dolan. I did not see it go past the line, but apparently it was in. As now they're trailing by four. Powell touches on the side of the cage and the save is made there. Parkland's now going to try to get this past the line here. As they're now trailing by four. A nice move is made there on the wing. It's nearly a shot it was nearly taken there by Reed Mesa. Jacoby, two on one, developing with Powell. Jacoby over the line with Powell. Took a shot and he scores! Jacoby with a nice shot on net for Northampton. And he makes it nine to four. That's his second of the game. 14th of the season. Ryan will take it at center, but lost this puck as Parkman's going to move it back into the zone. This will be an offside here against the Trojans. That was Dieter to be the last one to touch it for Parkland. 7.42 to go in this one. 9-4 Northampton. McGinley has it on the corner here for Northampton. Off the boards now. Back towards the point. As this goes all the way down. Daniel Rorch makes this move here around a 
Pryor and it escapes the check there of Craig. Roach's pass in front, and it's taken by O'Reilly. And this will be another offsides here against Parkland. Dieter slams his stick on the ice, and a bit of a frust frustration there for Parkland. As we get a line change for both teams. 7.15 to go in this one. Cyber will go for the faceoff against O'Reilly now on the offside dot. And off this faceoff, it's one there by O'Reilly. Cyber takes it away for the Concrete Kids. Cyber will try to get it on the left wing. Lost possession. Parkland moves back towards center ice as they have a two-on-two -two developing as they're going to move it into the zone. On the right wing for a shot deflected towards that statement by Dolan as they knew he got a rebound there. Now it's O'Reilly with a chance that was blocked. This is backhanded there by Snyder. Falling down there on the ice was Ethan Balls as Parkman's going to have it defensively here. This is O'Reilly's pass tipped off the stick of Seibert. Balls always got this too. Dieter gets someone shoved there off the glass. We're in the Johnny Gaudreau 13. Seibert takes it away. And now it's Williamson over the line for Northampton. Williamson has several passing options. Takes a shot on the side of the cage and it goes right into the glove there of Graham Bundage as he'll stop play with 6.20 to go. Cyber will go for the face off once again here for Northampton. Jacoby blasting one past Snyder. It goes right behind the goal. Williamson trying to get this puck too. Parkland trailing by five. We'll keep our eyes on the goaltender. Graham Bundage is the Parkland wants to pull. The goaltender to get the extra attacker as they're down by five with six minutes to go. Cyber hits it off the boards to Kobe trying to take possession here. Snyder hits it back towards Shellhammer as Northampton's going to try to kill some time. Shellhammer with a swap shot that bounces and knuckles back towards the corner. Cyber will back him with there for Snyder. Off the boards it goes behind there towards Shellhammer. Buzzak trying to get this out here for Parkland. Nearly walked past the stick of Williamson. As the Trojans will attempt to get it back towards center on a one on three. And they will. Brought past the line here. As this pass is going to be brought back towards center. Williamson's going to chase for it for Northampton. As it's taken down there by Brooke Brundage. With five minutes to go in this game. Fans from the middle school game are starting to arrive here at the PPL Center. As that game will be between the Northampton Concrete Kids and Nazareth Blue Eagles. Cleared back into the zone. This is Pyle having an excellent night and where his team mostly needed it, getting a hat trick tonight. Actually, it's two goals. I beg my pardon. Got the stats mixed up there for a second. It has two goals. Williamson's shot goes off the stick there. As now it comes back towards the high slot. Rapaz will dump this back towards the corner. Pyle has it on the wing towards the net. And now it goes wide there for Shellhammer. That was Cheek Shellhammer to be exact. Pyle nearly takes his puck back again behind the net. Trojans will get it right back out. It comes back on the wing. As now this puck races back towards center. It's Pyle. Gets the puck back on his own pass towards Shellhammer, but this will be an offside here against Northampton. 3.55 to go in the LVSHL Phantoms Cup Youth Final. All these championship games, except the Varsity Series, are one-and-done games. The Varsity Series is best of three. This game is just a one-and-done game. The Phantoms Cup is in the building, as it will be awarded to one of these two teams very soon. Route is passed, going back towards the Northampton defense. Ryan. With the Kibo team in 44, makes a nice move. Byron's is going to pass it towards the left wing as taking a, a weak shot on net there was Jake Powell, but it's going to be covered up there by the goaltender, Brundage. So that took less than 30 seconds off the clock. As they're going to do the faceoff here on the left circle. One defensively by the Trojans. 
Rouch is going to take it back towards center ice. Jacoby clearing it off the boards of the Parkman bench. Power almost had this puck for a brief second, too. Bryan's going to take it back the other way for Northampton. Clears it past the red line, no icing here. Off the right corner, moves to the left. Powell couldn't take possession. Jace Drake had it for a brief moment. We're in number three for Parkland tonight. Shellhammer on the point with another slap shot of this blocked. He's tried it several times. Seems to have a lot of power. As he'll have this puck again on the left point. Less than three minutes to go. Shellhammer waiting. Lost his puck. It's taken away by the Parkland Trojans. Three on two developing up here as they're going to bring it past the line. As it's broken up there by Brian. Good two-way play. Brian's going to go on a breakaway. As Brian's going to take it on the right corner. Passing in front of for Powell. That shot circles wide. Thought it was a breakaway, but Brian's just going to was just trying to wait to pass it in front. This is broken up as Shellhammer waits to bring this puck on an onside play and does. Shellhammer slaps it and gets taken down after he took the shot. Craig briefly had possession. Shellhammer jumped over the puck to avoid the offsides. Lawner will hold on. Couple players from Northampton and Parkland collide with each other as the Trojans move back the other way. They're gonna have it on the right wing. Pass comes in front there, and that shot's fanned down there from Rouch. Rouch takes it back on the right circle. Trying to go right towards the goal. It's a broken up play. It's in front of the crease as they have it on the side of the cage. First shot in the angle that goes that's blocked on the back part of the net there of Dolan. One and a half to go. Repez. We'll hold on here, make the safe pass on the right side to Jacoby, clears it off the boards, and this will be an icing. 1.22 to go. You see how far hockey players in all levels go? At one place they always play in, or at least a lot of them play, especially in the professional level, is in youth leagues like this. They never forget those years, especially as they become champions as Northampton is about to likely become. McGinley on the right side. His pass was intercepted. A collision's made on the circle there. That involved Mesa as well as Craig as they're going to call play dead. Mesa is still down on the ice being helped by Craig, and hopefully he's going to be okay. Reed Mesa is now up on his feet, having some assistance as he'll head back towards the Parkland bench. Hopefully he's going to be okay. It was not a penalized hit. It was just a... Simple collision that happened on the right circle. He's going to go right into the locker room, and hopefully he'll be all right. 103 to go, regulation. This face of his one there by Northampton. Snyder gets a shot that's blocked down by the goaltender, Brundage. Parkman's going to backhand this one back to Snyder. Cleared back into the zone by Rapez. Parkland's gonna back is gonna forehand this one and it's blocked by Schneider. This pass is taken there by Nicholas Farrell with the John Leclerc number 10. And now it's gonna be Pyle who clears it into the zone here for Northampton into the Parkland zone. No icing here. Still back on the corner. Cyber nearly touched the puck here as well as Jacoby. Pyle's gonna take it away. 17 seconds to go in the game. As this puck goes right behind the net. As I was saying, you never forget these games if you play in these youth leagues. As time is going to wind down here in the PPL Center. As the defending champions are no more in Parkland. The gloves come up into the air. The Northampton Concrete Kids are the 2024 LVSHL Phantoms Cup champions. They rally and congratulate their goaltender, Grayson Dolan, who is now who now has an undefeated record on the season, winning all nine of his games this year as he stops 16 of 20 shots on goal. Coach Ruff, a champion with a Northampton team once again as the Concrete Kids are victorious as they will participate in the handshake line before receiving the Phantoms Cup. 
Dolan will start the handshake line as well as the goaltender Brundage as the handshake line has commenced. Final shots on net 31 to 20 in favor of Northampton as the Concrete Kids win the Youth LVSHL Phantoms Cup of 2024. A final score of 9 to 4. It may not be the Stanley Cup, but they'll treat it like it is. As the Concrete Kids are victorious in the youth final of the LVSHL Phantoms Cup playoffs. As Northampton and their hockey teams in all levels get another trophy to their amazing resume in recent years. I'm Nicholas Garfall. Thank you for joining us for another edition of the LVSHL Phantoms Cup Final. Final score, Northampton wins 9-4 to four as the Concrete Kids are your champions of the youth division. Good night.